Yes, Lord. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back. I'm Deacon Pedro, and I'm so happy that you're with us again today. Have you been spending 10 minutes with God every day in a special place at home? Did you get to read any good Bible stories this week? Well, today, Jesus goes to the temple and something happens that makes him angry. And we're gonna find out what. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with your spirit. And before we listen to the Word of God, let's prepare our hearts. And you know, there's no better way to prepare our hearts to listen to God than to say that we're sorry. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you invite us to spend time with you every day so you can make us stronger. We ask you to make us holy through your word. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, God gave all these commandments. I, the Lord am your God. You shall not have other gods besides me. You shall not take the name of the Lord, your God, in vain. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor anything else that belongs to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, our Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area. He said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered the words of Scripture, Passion for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two weeks ago, we learned how Jesus went into the desert to prepare for his mission. And last week, he takes Peter, James, and John up the mountain so that he can help them prepare for their mission. Well, today, Jesus goes to the temple in Jerusalem. Do you know what a temple is? A temple is a, is a special building that is used for religious things, for, for doing things that help us get closer to God. Jewish people today have synagogues, and that's where they pray, and that's where they study the Word of God. And the synagogues are their temples. Muslims also have temples. They call them mosques. Our temples are our churches. Our churches are temples because that's where we gather to learn about God, to to pray, to get closer to God, and do things that have to do with God, things that are religious. In the time of Jesus, Jewish people also had synagogues, and that was a place where they would go on on the Saturday, on the Sabbath, to pray and study the Word. But there was a very special temple. It was called the Temple in Jerusalem, and it was a big, magnificent, huge building. And people would come from all over the world to visit the temple in Jerusalem. It was a very special temple. And this is where the Jewish people would make offerings to God. They would bring gifts to God at the temple. And sometimes those gifts, those offerings, were animals, maybe uh, turtle doves or a goat or a lamb. And because people were coming from all over the world so that they didn't have to bring all those animals with them, there were people at the temple selling animals. And because people came from all over the world, you needed money changers, people that would take the money from other countries and change it into the money that was used in the temple so that people could buy the animals and make their offering to God. So when Jesus arrives at the temple and he sees all this, he gets angry. But he doesn't get angry because people are making offerings to God or buying animals. He gets angry because the people that are selling animals at the temple and changing the money, they don't care about God. They don't care about making offerings to God. All they care about is selling and making money. And that's why Jesus is angry. That's why he says, why are you turning my father's house, the temple, into a marketplace? In the first reading, we heard about the Ten Commandments. God gives Moses the Ten Commandments. And the third commandment is keep holy the Sabbath day. Do you know what the Sabbath is? Well, the Sabbath was a special day that the Jewish people kept for doing things that would get them closer, bring them closer to God. 
like going to the synagogue or going to the temple. For the Jewish people, the Sabbath was Saturday. We also have a Sabbath. It's Sunday, the Lord's Day. That's when we go to Mass on Sunday. But we also do other things on Sundays that help us get closer to God. We spend time with family, or maybe you read something from the Bible, you spend more time in prayer, because all those things help us get closer to God. We're not busy doing things that are work or that have to do with money, because those things might not get us closer to God. Those are sort of those marketplace things. So keeping the Sabbath holy has to do with also keeping the temple holy. And when we keep the temple holy, we're also helping keep our Sabbath holy, our time with God and our place with God. You also have a temple and a Sabbath because every day you're spending 10 minutes with God in a special place. So that place, that special place, that is your temple because that is where you're spending time with God. And those 10 minutes every day are your Sabbath because that is when you're spending time with God. So how do you keep your temple and your Sabbath holy? Well, you keep it clean. You keep it neat and tidy. Is your special place in your room, are your dirty socks all over the floor? If it's on your bed, is your bed messy? Or is your special place, your temple, is it neat and tidy and clean? Is it beautiful? Maybe you can put some pictures nearby. Or, or maybe if you have a little table, you can have a statue or your Bible with, with you there so that it's a beautiful place. And that will help you keep that time that you spend with God holy because it'll be beautiful and it'll be neat and tidy. And that's what I'd like you to start doing this week. Every day as you spend 10 minutes with God in your special place every day, make sure that your temple is neat and tidy and clean and beautiful. And keeping your temple holy will help you keep that special time with God, your Sabbath, also holy. That's what Jesus did. And so we too are going to do what Jesus did. We have heard the word of God and now he wants to hear us. So let's bring our petitions to the Lord. For all of us who have cluttered our temples with distractions and earthly possessions, that the Holy Spirit can clean our temples to make room for God, we pray to the Lord. For our Holy Father, all bishops, priests, and deacons, that God help them be good and faithful shepherds to their sheep and lead people closer to God. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer, Lord, hear our prayer. For those preparing for baptism, confirmation, holy orders, and holy matrimony, they can be richly blessed and guided by God as they step into this next important phase in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer, Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly and those who are sick and those who are dying, especially those who are in our families and communities, for healing and that their struggles may be sanctified in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer, Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of those who have died 
that they can rest in peace in the arms of our Father in heaven, and for the consolation of those who love them. We pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that are left unspoken in our hearts, that the Lord will hear them as we come to Him in trust. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer, Lord, hear our prayer. We bring all these prayers to you, O Lord, trusting that you will hear us for we make them in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. And now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Yes, Lord, don't you love all this singing? I do. And I hope that you're beginning to learn all the songs. And I also hope that you're getting to spend 10 minutes with God every day and that you're reading Bible stories. Did you read some good Bible stories? We received some drawings. We received a drawing from Maria, and this is Jesus on Palm Sunday entering Jerusalem. And this one is from... Kiara, and this is the storm, Jesus and his disciples on the Sea of Galilee during the storm. And this one, I love this one. This is from Gianna, and it is the women visiting the tomb on the day of the resurrection. Maybe you also can send us a drawing of your favorite Bible story. Now, we received a message from Theo, and Theo memorized a Bible verse. He's not just reading the Bible, but he's memorizing a Bible verse, and the one Theo memorized is from our show. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. We sing that when we sing the psalm every time we do this show, and those words are from the Gospel of John, chapter 6. Do you know who says those words to Jesus? Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. That's going to be your homework. Go and find out who says those words to Jesus, and I'll let you know next week. And also this week, remember that we're going to continue spending time with God every day, 10 minutes a day, sharing about your day with God, and also reading a little bit of the Bible and maybe memorizing a Bible verse or two. And also remember to keep your special place, that place where you spend time with God, neat and tidy and clean and beautiful, maybe with some nice drawings. And that way you can keep your Sabbath and your temple holy. So let's end in prayer. Dear Lord, we are continually fed by your word. Thank you for showing us how to be with you every day by helping us keep your temple and your Sabbath holy. May we continue to get closer and closer to you 
as we approach your resurrection. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go and continue saying, Yes, Lord, wherever we go. Thanks be to God.